Alrighty guys, hello. Ah! So excited. So tomorrow I'm going to the Spring Awakening Music Festival. I'm so, so excited. <laughs> I literally can't even contain myself. I'm so excited. Um, so I know my arm is so sore from working out. I cannot straighten my arm. Ow, this is what I get. So right now I'm planning my outfit for this. I'm gonna vlog this little trip. Why not? My friends at the gym, oh, do I have something on my face? No, it's just my face, okay. Um, <laughs> so one of my friends at the gym mentioned to me like, oh, why don't you vlog it? So I was like, all right, I think I will. Let me get some better lighting here. So I have a day off work today because originally I took off this whole weekend, Friday through Sunday, to go get my hair done and visit family. But then I saw this opportunity like come up. You know, I was flipping through Instagram stories and an ad came up for the Spring Awakening Music Festival, and it was like Martin Garrix who like posted it, and I was like, oh my god, maybe I should look at this. And Yellow Claw, I saw it was there, and I had literally just been the week prior looking at Yellow Claw's tour because I've been dying to see them for like two years. I love their music so much. I can't even explain it. Ah, I love I love the music so much. I know like all the lyrics to like Los Amsterdam. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do, I need to go because I was literally just looking at the tour and I must have like bypassed like not seen that they were gonna be in Chicago. So I'm going to Chicago. I rescheduled my hair appointment. So anyway, right now I am testing out some different outfits for the festival and I'm so excited. I already knew from the get-go I wanted to wear something like see-through. I knew I wanted to wear a black bikini with something see-through on the bottom. Like I was thinking I really like those diamond fishnetty kind of dresses and skirts. So I might go to the mall later to pick something out. I know for a fact I'm gonna do this in braids. I just put it up just to get the idea with regular ponies. I'll have my hair down. This is my hair naturally. So I'm thinking I might curl it. Um, it'll but I'm not sure because my it'll probably deflate with all me my jumping and dancing and the heat So maybe I'll just leave it natural kind of like this and let it air dry, but I'm not sure yet I'm gonna bring my hair curler and everything. Um, so I have this so far black bikini I have these fishnets I found in my um Dresser this is a fanny pack. I bought in Brazil so I have all of this and then my white heads. And I know I want to get a bandana and I already bought some glitter so I'm gonna put glitter on me and like glitter here. And I, I love doing my makeup so I'm gonna do my makeup. And I'm so excited! Also, also my self tan's coming off. <laughs> Self tan, save your skin. Also have this other fanny pack I got in Brazil at the Brazil Carnival Parade. You can check out that video right here. I'll link it up here. You can just check that out. So yeah, I might use this one or I'll use this one. Either way, I'll give one of them to my friend, like whichever one I don't use. So anyway, this is my current option one minus the bandana and glitter. I'll see you guys at the mall where I show you some other things I might buy. So here I have my glitter, by the way, I bought this at the Wally Worlds, and then I have this I bought in Brazil and I just never used it, so I might use those. I'm gonna bring them, like I said, if I don't use them, my friend can use them. And this is my schedule I made to prepare because I'm that freaking excited. But this was yesterday. I hadn't actually done any of this, so I'm gonna do this today. I have to shave my legs fully, do my nails, wax my upper lip because it's like mega mustache and bad. And then I'm gonna edit some videos. I might go outside because it's a absolutely beautiful day outside. Um, but then today I had, I went upon self tanner, shower, blow dry my hair, do my nails if I didn't do it, which I didn't, <laughs> lol. Edit again, do leg day, and pack snacks for Chicago. Tomorrow I leave at 6.45 in the morning, woohoo! And then I have this whole packing list like for my festival wear. Um, I actually literally already picked these up blister pads. You can put them on your heels so that way you don't get blisters, emergency ponchos. I actually don't think I'll wear rain boots. If my feet get wet, whatever, I'll dry my shoes later. So I'm going out where, okay, my coworker, I was writing this at work and he literally wrote that in there. So sorry, that's inappropriate. Um, <laughs> travel comfies so I can wear on the train and, and on my way back. And also Sunday if we're gonna chill out some toiletries, PJs, undies, electronics, like the basics. And then these are just some video ideas I have for the future. Okay, I'm done. I'm obviously like mega excited, hyped up right now. But like I said, I'll talk to you with them all. Hello everyone. So I actually did not make it to the mall, clearly, because I was having car trouble. It's a long story. So yeah, 
couldn't go. So I just decided I'm going to use that outfit I showed you guys earlier and I'm so excited. I went to a Dollar General and I just got some bandanas and stuff. So right now I'm packing. I have got my basic underwear, pajamas. I'm gonna try and find some pajama shorts instead. Some actually matching socks. Um, I have my walking shoes, some going out clothes here and a jacket just in case. Water bottle, cause like gotta stay hydrated. And on the ground I have my things for you know, festivalness, so pair of things. Here I have the bandanas that I bought at the dollar store. A dollar each, which was way overpriced for thin pieces of fabric, whatever. I have my swimsuit here. Also the fishnets, the um, fanny packs and all those other goodies. And just packing the makeup and I'm almost ready. I'm getting tired, but I'm also so excited. It's gonna be the only time I ever wake up at like six in the morning, like, on it, you know what I mean? All right guys, see you on the train or in the morning. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It's bright and early. I slept like five hours because I'm not used to going to bed really early, so I'm about at like one, but uh, it's a great day. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I have my things all packed and organized here, ready to go. All right, see you at the train station. Side note guys, this is my travel outfit. Something nice and comfy and cozy. I always wear my athleisure. I love Gymshark so much. I literally wear it all the time. So this is what I have and I have just like a champion sports bra underneath with like not not too tight, just something with not a lot of compression just cause something cozy, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna pull my shoesies. Okay, that's officially it for now. See you at the train station. <laughs> okay guys, last thing I swear before I go to the train station. <laughs> but one little tip I have for like when you're traveling is like before you leave just quickly make your bed because it makes it so, so nice when you get home later. I just quickly made my bed here. That way when I come back my room is just like nice and kind of clean. Like, I mean, at least it's clean on this part. Right here, it's not the best, but it just helps make it like nice when you come back and you're like tired from traveling. I mean, I'm only going to Chicago, but even this. One other thing, you guys, is packing a breakfast to go. We're eating a breakfast before you go. It's gonna save you some money and it's also gonna probably be healthier. Um, So I made oatmeal and chia seeds and I also packed some leftover Mexican food as well. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left Alrighty everyone, I'm here on the train finally um, After me saying I'd be here for like five times And yeah, only two hours and I'll be in Chicago I'm probably gonna nap maybe, I don't know I'm like really excited right now so I'm waiting I ate my oatmeal. That's my Mexican left <laughs> and she's out of soy sauce. Super good. Save some money so I don't have to buy some food later. Hey guys, so I'm at my friend Roxy's boyfriend, Saul, which I can now call my friend. <laughs> His apartment. Well, he's asleep still. I'm about to get ready. And it's a beautiful day outside. We're ready. I'll get in. Yes, the mood is coming. She just woke up. I've been awake for like three hours, so it's just gotta warm up. <laughs>
This is Roxy. I don't think you've been on yet. No, on the tube. This is my dear friend Roxy, and I braided her hair. Looks super cool. But this is what I'm wearing. Let's get the lighting. Purple shadow. Glitter, of course. Fishnets. More glitter. And that's it. We're excited! Yes. Alright, we got some Starbies. We need energy to get through. Because... 10 hours. I'm not on that drug life. <laughs> not for me. surrounded by people who look like us. This is nice. Not bad. <laughs> We're on the bus. We are here. Oh my god. First stop is the porter potty, of course. Oh, actually getting our wristbands and then the porter potty.
put your flags up. We got three minutes left. We want to play two songs. We can only play one. So this is what we're gonna do. You guys get to choose. We're gonna play a little bit of everything. And you guys make some noise if you fuck with this shit. Sounds good? This one is option number one. Okay, 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 okay. This is option number two. What do you think? Okay, we're not sure, that was a close call. What is it, option number one? Or is she gonna go? Is it option motherfucking number two? One more brand new thing. Oh. Okay. Baby. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. Chicago, you guys ready for this shit? Oh, yeah. Here we I have go. no voice either. You might want to film this shit. Yeah. Hey everyone, I have officially lost my voice. <laughs> we just left. So much fun, so much head banging, mosh pit. I'm actually kind of happy that it ends at 10. I'm yeah, I'm me too. I'm like, and plus, if we really wanted to, we could do something. I don't know. We'll see how we feel when we get back. It's gonna take like an hour. I feel. I need at water, least to get back. I need, to pee. I need water. I need a lozenge. I need to wash my body. Everyone's sweaty, and you're just touching someone sweaty. I'm just like, I need to clean myself. I need water and juice. 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 Protein. Yeah. Thank goodness we ate, honestly. Earlier I wasn't hungry and Roxy was like, let's get food. I'm really glad we ate something because I think by now I would have been starving. I would have been hangry, cranky. Oh, let's, not, let's play music. Hello everyone. We have made it back to the apartment. I showered and I feel amazing. I drank two cups of orange juice, picture. a glass of water, and just two thingies in of mochi because I was clearly dehydrated-ish. Probably was. So good. Chilling here with Roxy and her boy. So we're looking at our photos. 
It's bedtime. bedtime. We had so much fun. Probably some of the funniest parts were one when DJ Snake was playing. He was like, Yeah, left side. People would be like, Woo. Yeah, right side. People go like, Woo. People in the middle. Like, I was in the middle. I was like, Really? Hey. And then he goes, VIP. Woo. And we're all just like, <laughs> and then he goes, yeah, just kidding. Fuck the VIP. And it was just so funny. Yeah. Fuck the VIP. I oh, suck. And then I went in a mosh pit for the first time. I did not get a video of this. It just okay. happened so fast. Roxy was like holding my phone, but she was like, and then I was like, boom, thrown into a mosh pit. First time I've ever been in one. It was very fun, kind of scary. <laughs> and we were stuck in between two mosh pits. <laughs> A bunch of people lost their phones. That's not really funny. It just sucks. Mm -hmm. I was on someone's shoulders. That was fun. <laughs> it was just a great time. But, no, I lost you you're, you're my there. There. absolute the S word when I saw Yellow Claw. I, I was jumping up and down and screaming and jumping in circles and like full jumping. Not just up mm -hmm. and down, like knees up, like a squat jump, jumping in circles while screaming and singing lyrics and running into people and headbanging. I was just so happy. And when DJ Snake started, his his bass was so loud. I was just like, I could feel my whole body shake. Such a great time. All right, guys. I will see you in the morning, and I'll finish up this vlog. This will be a whole weekend vlog. So we still got a whole more day of fun ahead of us travel home so i'll see you tomorrow hey everyone so i'm awake wearing clothes that are not fishnets <laughs> um right now we are going to little village little village and we're gonna get some food comida very much needed very hungry did a lot of jumping yesterday i'm really excited because like mexican culture is part of who i am having grown up like in a Mexican American kind of area. I want to try pink uh, tortillas. You said tamales pink or tamales. tortillas? Tamales. No tamales. I've literally never heard of it. I really want to try that. Yeah, it's good. By the lake. Oh, it's packed. <laughs> you just pick out like what you want, and then you pay for it then. I thought you wanted like a <laughs> Here's the Roxy. I got chilies rellenos uh, de queso con toma tomate on top. So that's chilies filled with cheese with tomato on top. I have frijoles and arroz and like a salad. It's a lot of, and then this is a tamale that's a sweet tamale. I've never had a sweet tamale before, so I'm really excited. This is coco. And then I got horchata, one horchata, because I always have horchatas when I'm at home. But the Mexican restaurant near my home, they use um, horchata de polvo, it's like from a, a powder. And so this is, I hope, different. So I'm really excited to try it. Saul got a burrito. You got a baby. A baby burrito. <laughs> Roxy got mole and tamale. Gonna be delicious. Okay, I'm gonna try this with chocolate. Oh my god. So good. It tastes like. It's way more. It's like more milky and like cinnamony and. Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> no, I think that'd be cool though if you did a if you did a voiceover if you doing makeup. I think that'd be hilarious. You call them a zero eyeliner today. <laughs> it needs it needs avocado and tomatoes, the jalapenos. That's it. But the thing is, it didn't even have that. It was fun. What I usually do, I get a veggie burrito because they include all that. And then I say, add meat. Yeah, but then it costs extra because then you add meat. But you have everything you need in it. Ah, uh, yeah. It's worth it. This is coco con, what was it? The pasas. Raisins. Oh, snap. I didn't know the word for pasas. Tamal. 
I hope they gave you the pink. No, where's my mom make our pink? No, it's regular. Oh, um, no, I didn't it's not one. pink. That's okay. It's so sweet. You never had a sweet one? No. <laughs> I smell it. Maybe they ran out of the pink masa. Man, they wrapped this one a lot. Yeah, they did wrap this. Normally it's like just one. one. This is weird. It's sweet. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. That's so good. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Really? Is it good? I love Let me see the inside of it. I love sweet things. Oh, okay. It's very like... Is it like fluffy like a cloud? Yeah, like a cloud. <laughs> and um... <laughs> but it has the raisin flavor. Oh, there it is. Taste the raisin. The, the pink tamale is just the color. It looks just, it tastes just like this. It's the same, but it's pink. Mm -hmm. But it's pink. I love. Look how spongy that is. The pink definitely makes it though, mm -hmm. for sure. Because you know it's pink. Yeah. You know it's sweet. That's really good. It kind of reminds it's me. It's like three legs of ham. What if mine ends up being pink? That'd be fun. Highly recommend. Mm -hmm. Oh man. See, these are so warm. <gasps> See that? It's so warm. Oh my god! You see the condensation in Wait. there. Wait! This is probably like three bucks. It's really cheap. Can you get three dozen? Yeah, I'm gonna make tacos for me and my family. Oh man, Rox. You're stocking up. <laughs> I'm just getting three. These last longer. Like when they're like this, they don't go, um, they don't get moldy like the paper ones do. Really? Yeah, trust me. Like you can have these for a while and they won't get moldy. <laughs> Okay, this reminds me of Honduras. Really? We went to an ice cream place. This is like all over Mexico, United States, but that's where my parents are from. from oh yeah, from Michoacan. Yeah, when I was in Honduras, like, we went and got ice cream. There's a corner store, and it looked just like this. They have the ice cream bars. I love these so much. And chocolate like covered banana. I'm so full, but it's worth it. I'm going to do half and half. One guayaba and one mango. And then she's putting mango granada on top. And I've had this before. This was the like iglesia after my church. We would make these and they're so, so, so good. Thank you so much. So this isn't a real mall, it's a Mexican mall. We went to Mexico. Ooh, oh, no. Oh, this is just like Honduras. Oh, I love. <gasps> Look at the tiaras. The tiaras. Or boda. Mm -hmm. I love this. I wish I could get it for a hundred. <laughs> Can you barter here? Yes. Yeah. What a big tahula. Madagascar though. No, Rio. 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 I want to take it instead of free. Guacamaya. You like I love these blankets so much. Roxy, what are the name of these blankets? They're just like the like Mexican style blanket. I love them. They're so soft. I like the music in this one. Hey 
Alright guys, so we are on the road, ready to go. Super tired, so we stopped by a Starbucks. Um, Roxy got a drink. I was actually considering, I was like, I really would like caffeine, but I was just like, um, I'm not getting anything because I have to work at 6 in the morning, so I still have my brazen. But yeah, just waiting for Roxy's coffee right now. And then we're back on the road. And also, um, our bodies are starting to feel sore. Like my neck is so sore. Just from like constantly being like messing up, head banging. <laughs> hey guys, so I ended up not going home um, because I'm just gonna stay um, at Roxy. So that way I don't have to drive super early because I have to work at six in the morning. But it was nice when I came, I stopped at my house to grab my uniform and everything and nice clean room with the made bed. I like if I have any other suggestions about like traveling or going to a music festival. If you want to try and save money, save money in like any kind of generic food you always have. Instead like when you would spend money on food, spend it on something that's unique or new because that's part of the experience. So kind of like how I had Mexican food today, like the sweet tamal that I've never had that kind like I've never had that kind before now I know for the future I definitely want to have a camelback to drink water because you get so thirsty I can't even explain it I didn't drink I don't do drugs so I was thirsty just from dancing and being around so much people and heat so I definitely recommend everybody that's something I, I know I'm gonna do next time I recommend it to everyone else and I add that to my list next time so I hope you all enjoyed this video if you liked it definitely give it a thumbs up that way I know you would like to see more videos like this so leave me a comment subscribe hit that notification bell so that way you know when my next video is up all right guys have a great one bye